Hey YouTube, Corpersan here. Like many others, I'm always looking for ways to get stronger in Lost Ark. And what better way to get on a higher level than to earn a ton of additional skill points from quests and exchanges. So in this video, I'll be showing you a couple of ways to get more skill points. We're starting off with an easier quest that I actually already covered in another video. This purple questline unlocks after you wrap up the events of Boreas Domain. The questline is started in Lutera Castle at the NPC scribe Theo. This quest is super easy to complete and takes like 10 minutes max. Run around Lunterra to complete various smaller side quests like attending a jousting competition or planting a tree. Not only does completing this questline reward you with 3 additional skill points, you'll also get a ton of class engraving books so you can work towards unlocking that as well. A card at the top right should appear right now if you want to check out a video on how to unlock your class engraving fully. But we aren't done yet in East Lunterra. Using the Adventure Journal we can get another skill point potion by completing 70% of this content. This one will take a while though as you'll have to complete the entire main questline, clear every dungeon on normal and hard, collect all collectibles, defeat all elite monsters or named monsters, view all vistas, defeat a world boss and complete 4 hidden stories to get your percentage high enough to get this reward. I used a lot of maps to help me find everything that I needed. Here's the map of the Dorica plain. Here you can see where all elite monsters spawn and where to find vistas and hidden stories if there are any. This is the map for Sunbright Hill. In this map at the top left the world boss Willy Willy spawns as well. This guy respawns every 30 minutes so he shouldn't take up too much of your time unlike some other world bosses. This is the map for Flowering Orchard. Here is the map for Black Rose Chapel. This is the one for Lair Terrace. The final one is the Croconus Seashore. Keep in mind that you can also complete a few more hidden stories since those are probably faster than running through the same dungeon twice on different difficulties. I actually completed like 69.9% .9 so I had to do one more story just to get the full 70% uh, thanks game. Anyway, we got our skill point bottle, and once you've freed yourself of the shackles of Lutera and set sail to become the Pirate King, make sure to visit Serenity Isle for another bottle of delicious skill points. You will need to have completed the Tortoik main questline before starting this island just to make things a lot easier. To start off this quest chain, investigate the destroyed cart that is close to where you land on the island. You'll find an NPC that's in bad shape and words on the island. Thankfully, an apple a day keeps the doctor away, so pick some fruit to help this poor dude and start the next questline. Complete some more stuff from this island and then the pain really begins. This is quite a long questline actually. For the next quest you have to go to Tortorx Head back at Mokoko Island and enter this dungeon. Just defeat the giant rock monsters to collect some of their drops and later in the dungeon slaughter their children as well to collect their drops. You don't need to finish this dungeon, you can just leave as soon as you're done. Next we need to go back to the Morai Runes at the earlier continents to defeat Thanatos one more time for an etc drop. Once you complete this quest you'll collect your skill points, but if you want to you can continue the quest line for an island token and some more upgrade materials. Once you leave Northern Vern after reaching level 50 there is another easy way to get some additional skill points. Progress to Shushire and again collect all named monsters, vistas and complete all dungeons. To get the skill point potion in this area you'll only need to collect 50% of this region. Here are all the maps with the named monsters and vistas. This is the map for the Frozen Sea. This is the map for Bitterwind Hill. Here you can find everything in Lake Eternity. Here you can find everything in Icewing Heights. And the final map is the Iceblood Plateau. We aren't done yet in this area though. At Lake Eternity, try to find and defeat the world boss that spawns here. She may be found at either 2am or 9pm server time. You will also need a gear score of at least 380 to make sure your hits actually register, else she doesn't drop anything. Defeating this boss is necessary for our next way to get more skill points, and that's by collecting giant's hearts. And this boss drops one of the hearts needed for our collection. Once you collect 4 of them, you'll get another skill point potion and another one once you collect 6, 10 and 12 hearts. If you already completed the main quest line over at Tortok Island, you should already have one heart added to your collection. I won't go over all the hearts in this video, but I'll show you where to get an additional 6, with the first one already collected from completing the main quest line at Tortok and the second one from that world boss that we mentioned earlier. You can get another heart over here at the exchange at this island called Blackfang's Den. 
and another one over at Freedom Isle also as an exchange. I just use those boxes that I get from events and whatnot to get enough currency to be honest. You can also complete the quest line over at these two islands to get even more pirate coins and you can find another one over at an exchange over here in Atlas but be careful here. This island has PvP enabled and the location of the merchant selling these hearts varies as well and sometimes he just isn't there at all so make sure to check back every now and then to see if the guy has actually spawned. Another easy way to get two additional hearts is by completing floor 35 of the Shadespire Tower. To complete this you'll need an item level of at least 480 though and the Fate Spire Tower also rewards a heart for completing floor 35 which requires an item level of 980. Actually, make sure you just complete the tower anyway. This tower NPC can be found in the Northern Vernon, in case you're wondering. Because floor 20 and 50 of both Shade Spire and Fate Spire will reward you with skill point potions as well. Just keep in mind that you actually have the right item level. And those were all ways that I found to get more skill points. I hope this video was useful. If you have any tips or recommendations to get more skill points, feel free to leave it in the comments. And as always, many thanks to our members for making these videos possible. Thanks to Niels de Konik, Rama Waar, Sebastian Hanoi, FLX, Riley Oz, Terry Kim, Varese, Kaudi Mora, Wiley, History Cannon, Backspace OTI, Safronix, Lonzo, BG Extremes, Anwar NHI, Frank Bouguet, Ziggy Deer, Flidiot, BeamerWT, Knifesu, Chen125, Cloudfix, Gusus Rodriguez, Froggy, Glazen, Brandon Cam, Vyra, Trevor, Michael Machaka, Ratius, Justin Vale, Silvio Nato, Stevie Zhang, Afterlord underscore MS, Heopan, Simak, Striker Elk, Martin Panzik, Niu, Taiduan Pan, Victor Sundstrom, Radicals the Alien, Riser RU, Gummy Bullet, Lucky Beats, Lovebird, Rev Soli, Sir Tito 655, Matthias Simonson, Mr. Renark, Galando Balavia, I'm Disappointed, my name is Copperson and I'm super cute XOXO, PC Game Life, Yo Mama, Dante Victory, Stanislavsk Sumo Vegas, Level 241 Paladin Reboot, Caveman, oh yeah, Crazy Ladette and The Passenger. Thank you so much for watching, stay safe and happy gaming!